Welcome back to the channel. When people talk about Tom Waits, we always hear people talk about albums like Swordfish Trombones, Rain Dogs, Frank's Wild Years, the live album Big Time, Bone Machine. And rarely do people go back and look at the early albums that were on Electra Asylum Records. Personally, the earlier stuff, I would say from the second album all the way to Heart Attack and Vine are probably my favorites. However, Blue Valentine, I think, is Tom Waits' best album and most overlooked. Let's take a look at what's on it. Song one is a song called Somewhere from West Side Story. This is a beautiful rendition of the song. I love Tom's voice here. I think on this album you can really piece together that this voice is somewhat put on and that Tom Waits, the performer, is really a character. And it's really great. Not to be taken so seriously as if this guy is trying to say this is how he would sing, but I really do in my gut of guts feel this is a put on voice and he does many of them and you can hear him switch in and out of them on songs on Heart Attack and Vine like on the nickel and Ruby's Arms. Song two is a song called Red Shoes by the Drugstore. This song is somewhat, I would call, a hipster, spoken word type of song. It's nice. It has a really cool vibe, and that vibe is going to continue through the album. However, this may be my least favorite track on the album. Song three is a song called Christmas Card from a Hooker in Minneapolis. The song really pulls into second gear here, and now we're starting to move. This is a beautiful song. He's a great storyteller very emotive and it's it's just beautiful i love this song song four again we're gonna step it up a notch romeo is bleeding fantastic story great song absolutely great this is the album now that is starting to really kick it in full speed it's just excellent every song is great song five you may confuse within the first 10 seconds of the song that it's a Cialis commercial. I can tell you it is not. It is a blues song called $29. Great song, a lot of fun. If you're a blues guy, you'll dig it. And if you're not a blues guy, you'll still say, I dig it. Song six. We're now starting to get into the area that I love. Wrong Side of the Road. An excellent song. Haunting just great everything about it is great this is right up there with romeo is bleeding right now they're fighting neck and neck for which the better song romeo is bleeding might be better song seven whistling past the graveyard another great song so now we're just getting hammered with just great song after great songs tom's voice is killing it the music is great bones howe does a great job on production He's known for producing bands like The Fifth Dimension, and here you'd be like he went into another dimension. Song 8 is by far the best song on the album. This song is called Kentucky Avenue. Here we take a walk with Tom down the old neighborhood. He tells us these stories, and it's just great. It's a great song. The emotion is great in this song. I don't have anything else I can say about it other than this is my favorite Tom Waits song. Song 9 is a song called A Sweet Little Bullet from a Pretty Blue Gun. Great song. Again, we're getting a little bit more now towards Red Shoes at the Drugstore, which I said is probably my least favorite song on the album. But it's not a bad song. It's really great. But these other songs are so dynamic and just so over-the-top great. These are very good songs, and this one is a very good song. Song 10, we get a little jazzier with a song called Blue Valentines. This song is a winner. Just great. Tom's stuff at this point has generally been on piano, and this one really features the guitar. It's just a nice song. It's a great way to close the album. Again, it's my favorite Tom Waits album. I think you're going to like it. I'm going to put a link for Spotify in the description so you can click on it. Give the album a listen, and let me know what you think. Put your thoughts in the comments. I will read them and comment back. I have a feeling you're going to dig it. I know I dig it. Very good.